Welcome to the video by DJS PRC. Today, uh, what I wanted to do is, because I'm getting this question asked a lot, is basically what's the difference between a brush motor and a brushless motor? And I wanted to take the time to show you a bit what it is. Uh, I do have my uh, SCX102 here. Uh, this is Project uh, Zombie. I don't have the body on it with it right now, but I just wanted to show you, I do have the Mamba Monster X in here. And this guy here, if I remember correctly, it is the 2280 KV motor in it, censored. That's another thing between, in brushless, you have sensors and sensorless. Uh, this guy here has the three wires, goes to the motor itself, and there's another wire on the side that tells the speed control where the motor is, the com where it's positioned. It's a little bit like a crank case sensor on a real machine. It needs to know where the crank is positioned uh, to make it run smooth. Because if you don't have a censored wire, uh, if you grab like a basher and you start running the vehicle and you're still running at slower speed, you'll see it'll start cogging and jerking. That simple, simple is basically the speed control and motor, they don't know where they are. They don't talk to themselves 100%. Now having a sensor wire, uh, that is this guy right here, I'm not sure if you can see it is talking to the speed control and motor together and telling to each other, okay, I'm at 12 o'clock. Speed control knows, okay, that's your timing at 12 o'clock. I'm going to go to this time and make everything run smooth. Um, the other thing too is with brushless, you go by KV. If you go by brush, they go by turns. To a certain point, KV and turns are similar. Uh, some people will say, uh, let's say a 17.5 turn, it's gonna be uh, similar to a 6900 KV motor. Without going too deep into this, uh, yes, it is, they're close-ish, I would say. But this guy here at 2280 KV, but it is in the uh, crawler series. Because if you look like a Mamba Monster, a 2200 KV 6S machine, that's a machine that you're not gonna use for crawling. It's a bashing machine and speed machine. This is a 2080. That's where, it, like I was saying, it's the, the way that everything's designed, they could go onto this. And I am running this machine on 2S. Uh, I can run it on two, uh, 3S if I wanted to. I don't see the need of running a, a machine on 3S, personally. Uh, a lot of people will go and run their crawlers on 3S. And I know why, it's basically on a 3S, on a brushless system, you'll gain more torque. Even for a brush motor, you'll gain more torque. Unfortunately, gaining more torque to a certain point is you're overheating your motor and creating more heat on your speed control and your motor, like I was saying. And that's something I don't want to. Uh, right now, I'm able to run this machine on a 5000 2S 50C discharge for three hours before I physically killed that battery. And then I swapped to my second one and off to the races again. Um, that's now on a 3S, you may not run three hours, you might do two because you will consume a little bit more current, but is it major? Not really. Just make sure if you're running a 3S, just make sure to check your temperatures, uh, that you don't overkill a brushless motor because a brushless motor, the way it's made, uh, basically you'll have your, your motor. And the winding, instead of being in the middle, it's around the motor. Let's take this, this motor out here. And let's say this is a brushless motor right here. This is a brush, but let's say. 
three wires coming out. You have your center com, and your center com on a brushless is basically your magnets. And the windings are outside of the motor. On a brush motor, the windings are outside. Uh, I mean, sorry, a brush motor, the windings are inside on the com, and basically your magnets are outside. On a brushless motor, they're a lot torquey, a lot fast, but what will kill a brushless motor is heat. And the reason it's, it, we say it's going to kill itself, on the comm itself where the magnets are glued on, the glue lets go and the magnet just basically moves and destroys the winding. And once you don't have your winding, it's basically, you don't have your, uh, your, your three phases, magnet, magnetic field, wow, uh, that creates the, the brushless. Because it is, a uh, brushless is three phase motor. You got phase one, your phase two, phase three, or vice versa. On a brush, like I have right here, uh, you have your comb in the middle, your brushless on both sides, on your comb, you have your windings and your magnet outside. Now these guys here, uh, they can take a lot more heat than you think. As long as you don't destroy your brushes, pretty much these motors are hard to kill. Now they are killable, believe me, I did destroy some. Uh, sometimes you can get a fracture in your brushes it's going to be a size of a hair and if it does happen it fractures and it explodes and your motor is done now i have the Radi radion 2 here uh if i remember correctly this is a five slot and i can't remember if it's a 12 it's a 12 turn but this 12 turn here basically five slot See, they say roughly about 2,700 kV, but yeah, not really. Uh, is equivalent to 35 turn crawler motor. When I do turn, the motor is super smooth. Uh, basically, you feel a little bit of notchiness. That's normal because this is a five slot. A uh, normal brush motor will be a three slots. That's why if you grab a normal brush motor, and you turn it, you feel clunk, a clunk, a clunk. This here is basically clunk, 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 clunk. And it's a lot smoother for crawling. It is timing adjustable. Uh, this is for one of my newest builds that I'm doing. And I will go with the Hobby Wing uh, 1080. Uh, Crowder brushed my speed control. These are pretty much awesome. They're super small footprint uh, and they work great comes with a program programming card I did get asked why I don't go back brushless and my newer crawler I always been a brush guy for crawlers I uh, don't believe in massive power for crawling I did in this guy here I said I, I have to try it don't get me wrong I do love it the mambo I Seriously, I like it. Uh, one of the features I do love more on this, because I do have the third wire on it that I can program uh, on the fly my drag brake. Uh, that way, if I'm just giving it a little bit of gas and the, the car is going to continue, continue rolling, and when I start climbing the, a rock and I need to stop, I'll press one of my auxiliary buttons on my remote. I have uh, basically, it is 25, 50, or 100%. I just click the button, the amount I want, and the vehicle just stops. Now, this hobby wing doesn't have that option. It will have drag brake constantly, but I'm fine with that. This my newest one might have portals. It, you will, should I say, you're gonna see it soon. Um, but yeah, this is the basic about brush and brushless. 
Uh, I'm not going to say you don't go brushless, you can. There's bazillions of options out there. Uh, Hobbywind makes the Axe version uh, that they're great too. A couple of things from the, the Axe version I don't like. It's uh, the drag brakes auto. And you're just going to give it one blip of your, your throttle and it's going to activate itself and the vehicle's going to stop. But what I don't like, now I could be wrong here, but what I was told is if you're barely going slow, let go and the vehicle will start rolling. You have to blip your, your throttle and it will activate itself. Um, but besides that, yeah, pretty much like I was saying, any system can go. Uh, they're awesome. I decided to go back to my, my roots and go br brushed on mine. And I was suggested this uh, Radeon, uh, 12 turn, 5 slot. And like I was saying, this is an equivalent of 35 turn motor. And yeah. Now, I'm still going to run this vehicle here. I like it. Uh, my zombie theme with my Cherokee body. If you're interested in the build of this guy here, I do have a complete, the, the complete build series on, uh, on my videos. Go take a look. And I'll try to remember to put a link, but I might forget. Um, and this one here has, has the complete interior in 3D printed. I do have uh, for controlling my lights on top here. And yeah, great vehicle. Uh, a lot of 3D printed parts on it. Now, if you have you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. It does help a lot. And again, please subscribe. Because if I'm looking at uh, my numbers analytic, uh, a lot of you are not subscribed. I would like to ask, please subscribe. And it does help the channel a lot. And then I do appreciate it. And it motivates me to make more of these videos for you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.